Movie Empire can be played solo with the help of an Automa bot or with two to four players. Before the session you can choose between two styles of play and two game lengths. If you want a more strategic approach, you'll play the clean hands mode. But if you are curious and have the right group for that, you can play the nasty take that mode with the dreaded black dossiers. The standard game length is the full feature game with four phases and ten rounds. If it's already late in the evening at your game night, choose Shoot a Short with three phases and only seven rounds. After setting up the modular boards and determining the first player, the game begins. Grumpy phase. Depending on how much Mr. Grumpy likes you, take a look at the sympathy track, you receive this round's budget. Then the annual plan for this year is activated. These plans can have a positive, negative or neutral impact on the current round. In this example, you can't release a movie without a star in it. Annual plans may be ignored by paying money, with a certain sympathy level, or, in the take that mode, by dropping a black dossier. After that, the annual plan for the next round is revealed so that you can plan ahead. Working phase. This phase makes up the meat of the game. You'll deploy your production assistants, aka workers, to different locations in order to do several tasks. You always have four production assistants at hand, but only the first two are for free. If you want to use the other two, you have to pay for them. The main tasks will be to acquire scripts, cast stars and get production assets. These assets show you the cost in the top right corner and the prestige points in the top left. Scripts show the genre instead of costs. As this is a worker placement game, there's not enough space for all players to put a worker at the same type of task. Production assets are priced differently, but are getting progressively cheaper over time. The general action board has several single space tasks. Charge your credit card to get money, order overtime and draw two production asset cards, sabotage to exchange a card from your hand with a board, denounce a player so that he loses sympathy, be overly nice to Grumpy so that you'll gain sympathy, and a space for becoming the first player in the next round. You can also reveal secrets in the Take That mode in order to receive one of the precious black dossiers. These black dossiers are costly, but can enhance certain task effects or block another player from an action. The most important thing is to collect the best fitting production resources for your script. In Movie Empire, there are four production stages visualized by a key color. Pre-production is green, the shoot is blue, post-production is yellow, and marketing is red. Every production card belongs to one of those four stages. Each script has a recipe for its success at the bottom that defines how many cards of each stage you must at least have in order to get the prestige points for the script. Depending on your sympathy value, you can have up to two production lines where a movie can be produced. To start a shoot, you have to place a script and one production card in your production line. You can start with any stage of the production. You can always expand the production cards to the left or to the right, but only with a matching color or one that is adjacent to another stage, so you can't skip stages. You can't add the same production card twice. You can't place a production card in between others. And you have to think of your hand limit of four cards. There are three special types of cards you can also place in the production line. Upgrade cards. These can only be placed upon the existing counterpart and give you bonus points. Jokers. They can be used as a production card for any stage, but you won't get prestige points for them. Stars. Attach them to your movie as long as you can meet their demands. You can build up a production line over just one or several rounds, that's up to you. Produce an epic blockbuster or a trash movie. If you think the time is right, you'll send a production assistant to prepare a movie premiere this round, but you don't choose a market yet. Look at these trends. Hitting the trends is one of the ways to get more prestige points. You'll always see three cards on the board. One for the current round, one for the next, and one for the round after that. So you can plan ahead for your movie releases. Premiere phase. If any player plays to work on one of the movie release task spaces, it is time for a movie premiere. The players release their movie in the order of the production systems. This is essential because only one player can release at a specific market every round. Each market has its own advantage. The US is home to the big blockbusters, therefore you'll get a money bonus. Europe, the center of art house movies, will give you a prestige bonus. 
and China is still a country with cheap labor, so you get to draw additional cards. Some of the trends also give more prestige points if you are releasing in the right market. After placing your production assistance, it's time to reap your harvest. You'll get prestige points for The script, if all requirements have been met Attached stars, whose requirements have been also met Production cards Production period Trends you've hit And the market For trends you've hit, you'll receive an award and will also be more in favor with Mr. Grumpy So you will rise on the sympathy track Upkeep phase There's really not much to say here Tidying up the boards, replacing the cards then the next round begins. End of game. Now it's time for the twist. These additional achievements can make a tremendous difference and change the positions on the prestige track quite often. If you, for example, have released a movie in every market, you get the King of the World achievement worth 5 points. Or if you have the most action movies under your belt, you get the Exploitation achievement worth 3 points. After adding up all the achievements, you have a winner. So, that's it. Do you have what it takes to build a movie empire?